Fiona Bloom. My company is called The Bloom Effect. I like to call it a one-stop shop. I provide a lot of uh, off uh, offerings and services like uh, PR, both online and traditional. I do social media training. I do international tours, consulting and licensing deals. So I do a lot of things. With social media, I mean, you want to try to get as many organic fans as you can and be as engaging as you can. Talk to your followers and your fans like individuals, like people. Don't always broadcast your stuff. Don't always be like, yo, I just got this, I just ran into so-and-so, he really likes my stuff or he likes my flow. Like, don't brag about anything. Don't broadcast about stuff. Just be really genuine. So as far as the actual music, no, I don't think you're going to be able to ever be able to make money like that. But if you treat your art and your music as a brand, there's so many deals that you can make. There's partnerships. There's mobile patents you can do. There's technology companies that you can venture with. There's fashion. There's all kinds of ways to make money in the scheme of music. I mean, look what Jay-Z's doing with the first ever American Express huge Twitter thing that they're doing at South by Southwest. And Jay-Z's probably making multi-millions of dollars doing that. Okay, not every artist is going to be Jay-Z, but you can start small and build yourself up. And I've been preaching brand since the beginning, and people thought I was crazy. They're like, you're the first executive that's talking like this. What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. But yeah, an artist has to be a brand, because the thing is, you can't be one-dimensional anymore. You've got to be multi-dimensional. You've got to look at your art and your career as the music lane, the film lane, the book lane, you know, the fashion lane, the, uh, you know, whatever it is that you're doing, it's lifestyle, it's lifestyle. When you get that into your head, you can create all these opportunities. My legacy is going to be always helping the unsigned artist, always looking out for the underdog, and sort of creating a lane that is necessary in my business where people sort of overlook that lane or push people to the side. I want to be known for always picking up those people, helping them out, mentoring people, putting people on when nobody else would listen to them.